This is addressable system test 19. I've added a few things to the system since uh, the last time. I've got a dedicated test switch to put the system into audible test. This is using a mini switch monitor. This here is a uh, key switch from Click. This is used for testing emergency lights. What I have done with this one though is I've drilled through and I have uh, stuck in an LED there so you know when it's active. That LED is the remote LED from the uh, mini switch monitor. So that will light up when that is active. I've also added a voice sounder in the kitchen. I've just hidden it up there. So we've got one in the garage and we've got one in here. This one here <laughs> is, a, is a, it's full volume. So it is, uh, it is pretty loud. And there's a few functions I want to show you that I have uh, programmed the panel to do. Th it's not exactly compatible with the Kentex Synchro, but there's a few workarounds that make it work. And it's it works. It works fine in that configuration. Um, the reason why I have not made, it a made a video in a while is, well, obviously COVID-19. And, uh, well, everybody being stuck at home Filming in the house with other people is a little bit difficult. I don't tend to do it. I've just uh, given up trying to film anything when people are in the house because, well, they always interrupt. They never really take a tell and they don't really care to take a tell in either. So I've just uh, I've just given up trying to uh, film while people are in the house. So, uh, so whenever I get the opportunity where everyone's out, which is today, I'll, uh, I'll make a test video, but uh, hey ho. The devices I'm going to be testing today are the heat detectors on the ground floor. So that is the heat detector in the kitchen. The heat detector, well, actually it's a multi-sensor, but it's in heat mode uh, in the utility. We've got this multi-sensor, which is also in heat mode in the uh, dining room, rear living room, and the one in the rear living room part there. So, dog. That's four. Uh, we'll need one more. We'll just test the call point in there, just for good measure. I will test one device and uh, I'll do a walk around to make sure the sounders are operating and then I'll come back to the panel, silence, reset it, then put the system into test mode and then I'll just do a walk test on these uh, devices here. Uh, either that call point or that call point at the end. I'm not too, not too sure, but we'll find out. Okay, I forgot to uh, mention this. The function key I have programmed to uh, tell the voice sounders to output the test message. So I'm going to push that now, and that's going to tell both the voice sounders in the garage and in the kitchen to. Uh, Say this is a test. So here we go. This is a test of the fire alarm system. Please do not take any action. This is a test of the fire alarm system. Please do not take any action. I'll let it go for the second message and then I'll cut it off. Okay. I'll let the neighbours know. <laughs> oh, the, the strobe's still going. Oh, there we go. This one will activate all the sounders, not just the voice sounders. And it'll put the system into evacuate.
Oh, just pre-alarm. I should go full alarm any second. There we go. Now I'm going to walk around and check all the sounders are working. Okay, I'm now going to put the system into test. So I've got to reset it. Oh crap. So I've got to reset. There we go. And I put that in there. Panel will uh, screech and then the green LED will come on. So I'll just acknowledge that just to shut it up. So that's now in test mode. I'm just going to hang the key switch in there the now so I know where it is. And I'm going to activate the multi-sensor in, in here. Okay, hair dryer again. Okay, this is the dining room. Okay, we're in the rear living room. I don't, I don't need to reset or find another socket because this cable reaches, which is good. A reset, as in uh, stop the video and start again. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to test the call point. I'll need to run and grab the key to reset that. You hear the dog bark. <laughs> I don't think she's barking at the fire alarm. I think she's barking at something outside. Yep, yeah, there's something outside. Fire alarm doesn't really bother her. Where did I put this? Keys. There we go. It's a little awkward to reset these uh, KEC call points one handed when you've got a cover in the way as well. Let's turn that light on. There we go. 
There we go. I'm gonna leave the system for a couple of minutes um, before I take out a test. Okay, all the heat detectors have cooled down. I'm gonna take the system out of test. I'm just gonna flick that up. That LED should turn off in a second. There we go. And now the system is back to normal. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the uh, carbon monoxide detector in the kitchen. And this activates a different message on the voice sounders. I'll put the key in. <laughs> I'll just use the code entry. And that's it. That was addressable system test 19. Thanks for watching.